Hi friends! I'm so excited today we are going to be making gifts. These are very low cost gifts. Um, a lot of these are from recycled things that you have at your house. The very first gift that we are going to make is this vase with these beautiful flowers. So I used a Coca-Cola bottle. This is just one from the grocery store. And I used it. And then I used a ribbon that I had left over from Christmas, tied it, glued it a little bit on the back just so it would stay. And these are roses for my garden. This could be a fabulous Mother's Day gift or a teacher gift and they will absolutely love it. My next gift, this is a very creative thing. Um, I saw this cuties netting and I thought, what could I, what could I do with this? Well, we have a lot of the netting and I had all these rose petals and I thought, wow, they're, they're so fragrant. Um, I let them dry out the rose petals, they dried out, left them overnight for a couple days. And I cut out the netting here, tied it with the rubber band, and then put a beautiful bow on it. So now I have potpourri. You can put these in your bathroom, you can put these in your, in your drawers, anywhere in your house, it smells divine, it smells beautiful. And so these right here, very low cost. If you are eating oranges or, or cuties at home, this is a great idea. The next thing, we have these spaghetti mason jars. I thought we have the, this fabulous sauce and then we have this glass mason jar. We can either use it for cups afterwards, that's recycling, but I love gardening and I thought, wow, I could use this to garden. So I peeled off the label right here. I scrubbed it with the scrubby, put some soil in it. And this is a basil plant from the grocery store, the live plants. I've had this plant for two years. It's been in my window um, sill above in my kitchen area. And so it gets the sunshine there. And um, I use this for my pasta sauce, so it's the gift that keeps on giving. And you can put a bow over this. You can give this as a gift to a teacher, to your parent. Um, this is a wonderful gift idea, or you can do it for yourself as well. Now, my son at school made this beautiful vase. And this vase was made from just a soda bottle. So you take a soda bottle. There's, there are two ways to do this. You can use tissue paper, the tissue paper that you use for packaging um, in the gift bags, uh, multiple colors, and just cut them out in little squares and put Mod Podge on them all around the glass bottle, Mod Podge, and just paint it that way. And it'll look like this and you'll have the multiple colors, all the multiple colors. And then you can place some um, fake flowers in it or some real flowers. Or there is another way that you can do it as well. You can use some masking tape. This is blue. You can use blue masking tape if you want just a blue base. Or you can use the beige masking tape and just tear it off in little pieces and do it all around. And, and then you can use paint it as well or you can use markers that could It'd be a great thing for a young child to do. Um, this is a, a beginner gift for young children as well. And of course, mothers and teachers love these handmade gifts. Um, now we're gonna go on to some of the more advanced gifts. Um, so this, we have all these cans at home. And what can we do with them? Well, we can make a gift for Mother's Day for, for teachers or we can make it for friends or family members anybody that we want to so after using this the can what we do is wash it out of course and
be very, very careful because on the inside of the can, it's very sharp. I actually cut my, my finger on it. So be very careful on the inside lip of this. Um, so what I did is after washing it, then first thing I wanted to do is make it safe. So I, I put the masking tape on the inside. You can see on the inside here, it's the blue masking tape right there. Um, so that way nobody will get cut on that. Um, it's super clean and dry. Then what I did is I have a glue gun. This will require a glue gun or glue, um, heavy duty glue. And so what we'll do is glue all of the crayons on this. But the first step is what you're gonna do, and I'll show you with this can, is you're going to glue ribbon, whatever color ribbon you choose, around the can. Of course, the label is gonna be off on the top and you're gonna do it on the bottom as well. So you're gonna do it on the bottom as well. You, don't, you do not need to put ribbon on the middle part because the crayons will be covering it. Then you will use the glue gun to glue the crayons all around. I did mine in a rainbow colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. You can do it however you like. This is your project. This is your gift. Um, and so I did that and then I cut and tied a ribbon around it and glued this. So this is now a pencil or a pen holder. This is a great gift. Um, you can put pens and pencils in it and it's a great teacher. I used to give this to the teachers all the time and put brand new pencils and they would love it. The next one, this is a little bit more advanced. This is gonna require a lot more time. <clears throat> so I had a lot of leftover fleece material because I made fleece um, blankets for the children's hospitals. And I had tons of these and I thought, well, what can I do with these? They're small pieces, um, what can I make? And I thought, well, I can make a reef. So I cut these into squares. And I bought this straw wreath. This is a very small one. It costs a couple of dollars on Amazon. And what I did is I put the individual pieces. I used a screwdriver and just pushed it inside with the screwdriver into each spot right here. And I created this wreath. Then you can decorate it with flowers. I have a, a few flowers here, some purple ones, a yellow one, and then I put a bow on the bottom and I glued the flowers and the bow on the bottom. It doesn't take, it takes a little bit longer to do this project, but it doesn't really take that long. And it's a beautiful thing you can put on the outside of your house, um, outside of the classroom for Mother's Day. It's just a, a gorgeous thing. You can do this with fabric as well. I've made several Christmas wreaths with fabric um, and gave them for gifts for family and friends. Well, I hope you had a wonderful day and hope you enjoyed the video of the gifts. Please like and subscribe after watching my video. Bye friends.